Hi, I recently bought a King's 1500 watt inverter and I've just installed it in my caravan. I want to get a remote switch for it and King's don't sell it. They said to go to JCar and buy one, but they also didn't have them in stock. So I've made one up with a switch and I just wanted to show everyone how I've done it. So on the inverter side, there's a RJ12 plug. It's just like a normal telephone plug. It's got six pins. And I've just put the wires and crimped that in. It doesn't really matter what order, as long as it matches on the other side with the right pinouts. So on this side, I've bought a switch with a LED light in it. I bought that from JCar for about 20 bucks. And I'll show you how I've wired it up. So on the RJ12 plug, the one on my right here, pins four and six go to the switch and pins one and five go to the LED light. And that is uh, pin one being on the left, working towards pin six on the right. And I've just soldered them onto the switch. And I've installed the King's Inverter underneath my sink in the caravan. So the wire plugs in over here, which is the remote wire, and connects to the switch. Now when the inverter's on, you can see the green light on the inverter. The switch light is off. When I press the button, the inverter turns off and the red light around the switch is on to show me that the inverter's off on, off. Now I called Kings and they didn't have a wiring diagram so I spent a fair amount of time trying to figure out which wires were usable to make all this work um, and I've read the manual and there's nothing about the remote on there and Kings don't sell a remote so I hope you can use this to make one up. All right, so I've finished installing the switch. Little red button there, which is in the off position. If you press the button, you can hear the inverter turn on and then press it again and the inverter's off. And that gives us a lot more room under here. We can store all our stuff back in there and we don't have to get under the cupboard to turn the inverter on.